Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Knockreiner. Today's story is a light January patch day. Well, it's a new year and I hope you got some rest, but unfortunately it's time for information security professionals to get back into the routine of things, starting with yet another monthly patch day from Microsoft. The second Tuesday of every month is Microsoft's patch day and also people like Adobe Security and even Apple sometimes share this patch day. This month's Microsoft patch day is among the lightest I remember in recent history with only four security bulletins. In fact, if you remove the update for Flash, which is built into Windows, it's really only three Microsoft security bulletins. In any case, today's bulletins fix vulnerabilities in their browsers like IE and Edge, in Windows, and in the Office packages, as well as another Windows update that brings Adobe's Flash updates to Windows. The only critical bulletin is the Flash one. However, I would say the most important Microsoft bulletin is the one in Microsoft Office. Long story short, if a bad guy can send you a maliciously crafted document, they can leverage this flaw to execute malware on your computer and essentially take it over. The other flaws are basically a local denial of service flaw in Windows and a privilege escalation flaw in the Microsoft browsers. And that pretty much covers it for patch day. Since there's only three, you should probably download and install everything, but I'd start with the Office update first. Now, speaking of Windows Flash updates, today is obviously also Adobe patch day, and they released two bulletins, one fixing a number of vulnerabilities in Adobe Reader and Acrobat, and the other one obviously fixing vulnerabilities in Flash Player. Both of these bulletins fix a number of different vulnerabilities, some of which can allow remote code execution. So basically, if a bad guy can entice you to a, a malicious site with Flash, or force you to download a SWF file, or if the attacker can get you to open a PDF file, they may be able to leverage some of these vulnerabilities to, again, run malware and take over your computer. Now, I think you should get both updates as soon as you can. However, priority-wise, the Flash one seems to be a higher priority to Adobe. So you probably want to take care of that Flash player update date first. In any case, it's a nice little break because it's a pretty light patch load for this month's patch day. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.